Hi, I'm Valentino, and this is Let's Play Low Poly Modeling Myself. I am very, very excited to be doing this. I was going to make a low poly model of myself anyways, and then I posted on Reddit, and I was like, hey, would any of you guys be interested if I just recorded this and answered questions that you had while I was doing it? And I got a pretty positive response, and quite little time, so I figured it'd probably be an important thing to do. Um, I got some really great suggestions, such as using Cam Studio, which I have to say, after doing a little test run, is the most fantastic software I've used for desktop capturing. Um, I would like to tell you that when I do this, I want to be very clear, this isn't going to be a tutorial. A tutorial is going to teach you how to use your modeling package, and uh, I'm not going to do that. There's way too many modeling packages, and honestly, they're all pretty much the same. I'm going to teach you basic and advanced concepts for making a low poly character, and you're going to watch me as I do it. And I'm going to make it interesting for you. I'm going to try and answer as many questions as possible. And through this, you're going to learn so much it's going to be silly. Um, now, uh, I know what you're thinking. Hey, why should I listen to you? And that's a really good question. You should always question those things when you're looking at a tutorial. Whenever you're looking at a tutorial, always go, if it's available, to the last episode or the last page and see what the final result is. If you're not happy with it, don't watch the tutorial. Um, obviously, that person's not going to teach you that much. And why should you listen to me? I'm just a random guy on the internet that's telling you you should listen to me. Which is sometimes good, because I'm quite charismatic. Anyways, I'm going to be quite honest with you. When I first started modeling, I sucked. This is what I don't even know what the hell it is. I guess it's a giant cat Gundam bot with a... Is this a claw? I guess it's a claw. I made this in 3D Studio Max, and all these seams and ripping you see, that's not a texture. This is just really bad modeling. So, I want you to be aware that I was really, really bad. And the reason I was really, really bad was because these concepts, these really core concepts, aren't taught. They're usually learned, and they're learned by making a bunch of mistakes. And as you can see, I made a lot of mistakes here. But when I first started modeling, I didn't know they were mistakes, and I kept doing them. And it wasn't until someone just sat me down and said, hey, that's shit. You need to stop doing that. And really explain to me why it was wrong that I really started getting better. And now I'm a lot better artist. You know, I'm making a lot of low poly art. I'm making some really fantastic 2D art now. And I can make really great 3D art. So, I want to tell you that I'm not the best artist. I'm probably not even the most qualified to teach you all how to do this, but I know a bunch of these concepts and I'm willing to share them with you. Because although sometimes it's really, really important to make those mistakes so you understand why they're done, sometimes it's just better professionally to understand what the mistakes are, understand why they're mistakes, and just skip them. You know, of course you can learn by doing, and I suggest you do that, but sometimes we just got to learn by seeing what other people's mistakes are and skipping them entirely. So, as I explain my purposes, this isn't a straight tutorial. I'm going to show you basic concepts as I model, and we're going to go from modeling, animating, or sorry, modeling, rigging, and then animating. We're going to texture our model. Um, I'm going to teach you what the pipeline is, how the pipeline can be changed, where it can be changed at. Uh, I'm going to show you unwrapping, of course, and I'm going to try and teach you as many things as I can at the same time, answer as many questions as I can. So if you have any questions, be sure to email me at valentinoistony at gmail.com. Or you can message me on Twitter or Reddit, and my username's just ValentinoZ. Um, so, let's see. guess I should explain to you guys how the format's going to be. The first thing I'm going to teach you guys is pretty much going to be what we're going to do. And we are going to make a low polygon model of myself. Um, why me? Because um, I was going to model myself anyways, because I'm vain, and I thought it was going to be fun. And I think if you guys follow this exact same guideline, you could also make a low poly model of yourself. And that'd be really cool, right? I mean, you have a low poly doll of yourself. You can show online, you can animate, and make it do cool things. So that's going to be fun. Um, another thing we're going to be doing while we're doing it is animating and rigging it, and that should be really exciting and educational for a, for a lot of people. Um, so if we do this, at the end of it, you should all have a very good base mesh you can use to make any biped character you want. You should have a pretty good male or female character you can use as a base mesh for a male or female character. 
and you should have a pretty good grasp on texturing and be fairly knowledgeable on rigging and have an idea of how animation works and how to animate and how to animate for games. Um, let's see. So let's go over some basic concepts and definitions that we're going to be going through. And this way you can have a, a general idea of what I mean when I say certain things. And we're going to start pretty basic too. Um, let's start right off the bat. Vertex. What is a vertex? It's okay if you don't know. A vertex is just a mathematical point in space. You know, it has x, y, and z. And three vertices connected by edges is called a triangle. And a triangle is always perfectly flat because of the way it works. So there's never any curves to it just because it's three vertices and, you know, three lines. And because of this, we can draw a line through it, and that line's called a normal. And the normal, or the positive side of the normal, is going to be the side that is going to have a shader applied to it. And a shader is just kind of like a texture. And that shader is a Lambert. And a Lambert is a type of shader that only has a diffuse map and some light specularity, or not, not any specularity. And this is generally the, the gray color you see when you make a polygon in Maya, or the pastel color you see when you make um, a shape in Maya, or Max. Now, the opposite side of a triangle is always see-through, and that's because the face normal is negative, and we, we don't draw that side, and that's because we don't want to add excess things for the computer to calculate. Because if that normal's not going to be seen, why draw it? You know, this is usually the insides of characters, so we skip that. Um, a quad is two triangles, you know, to make a rectangle. And we model in quads because it's easier, and I'm going to show you why it's easier, and, you know, really show great a demonstration of why we model in quads. And then there's poly count. Whenever I refer to poly count, and whenever anyone else refers to poly count professionally, they are talking about triangle count. Triangle count is very, very important, and we have to keep that low, at least for low poly modeling. And the reason why, and I'll get into it right now, is when I refer to low poly modeling, I'm not talking about crappy models. Um, crappy models are always just going to be crappy models. A low poly model can look really, really fantastic. You know, if you if you look at any of the models from games like you know Final Fantasy XI or you know. You know, Square is really great at doing this. Any of the Final Fantasies generally have some low-poly model examples that are just fantastically beautiful. And they're really highly detailed. And, you know, most Wii games, let's look at, you know, Zeldas, they look great. And they're low-poly models generally. So, um, let's go back over here. And on Polycount, they have a really great list of what are some suggested um, polygon counts and texture sizes. And this is generally the hardware limitations that we're going to have. When I refer to low poly modeling, I'm referring to the Nintendo DS, the Sony P, and the iPhone, well, now 4, which can actually support a little bit more. Um, so when I'm not talking about low poly modeling, I'm talking about a very specific set of requirements that sometimes change varying on what your hardware is. And every time new hardware comes out, it's always going to be different. So what are our requirements going to be? First, since we're going to, let's assume we're going to be doing this for an iPhone game, because I doubt you guys have SDKs and a DS SDK. So we have 7,000 tries we can have on screen at any given time. So our main character model is going to be less than 1,000. Um, it's probably going to be around, I don't know, say five to 700. The texture memory for that we can have streaming in is going to be 24 megabytes, and it's totally going to be less than that for our character texture. Um, the max texture size is 1024 by 1024. Um, that means we're probably going to be using a 512 or lower, and the screen color depth is 16-bit, but we can have alphas. Yay! And we're probably going to use alphas for hair. And we'll get into that more as we do it. So, since this seems like it's going on pretty long, I'm going to cut it right here. Um, thanks for listening to the introduction, and stay tuned for our next episode where we are going to be getting on a base mesh, collecting reference, and concepting. Well, not in that order. Actually, pretty much reverse. Oh, thank you for listening. Bye.